Indica is what you get when you mix Evil Dead and the recent Sydney Sweeney movie Immaculate. This horror game isn't the type where jump scares wait for you in every corner. Instead, it's the kind of horror that evokes surrealism and leaves you baffled at every turn. The game takes place in an alternate 19th century Russia. We take on the role of a nun named Indica on a path of self-discovery. She's accompanied by the devil himself. Together, they explore the hidden depths inside Indica's soul. It combines puzzle-solving mechanics with psychedelic levels. You're always left wondering what lies in store for Indica's twisted psyche. It's a short and unique experience, one that benefits the 15th spot on our best new indie games so far. Children of the Sun is an arcade shooter that puts you in the role of an assassin. It's a story about revenge. As the girl put an end to the sinister cult that ruined your life, pop off their heads in satisfying third-person shooting. Children of the Sun's gimmick is that it's a puzzle shooter. You have a single bullet, so how would you make that count? The game has an inventive way of making sure your shot is worth it. You can guide the bullet, use it to trigger traps and shape the environment. It doesn't matter how, as long as you get the job done. You're basically playing as the bullet here. You might think it's easy, but its puzzles grow increasingly complex. So it's more than just a shooting game. Choose your faction and expand your empire across the stars as you battle for control of Nexus, the galactic throne world. A 4X strategy game built for fast-paced sessions. Set in the lore-rich Stellaris universe, Nexus 5X has all the makings of what makes the genre great. You explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. It can be played solo or competitive with up to 2-8 to eight players. They can brave the Nexus and match up with other players in skill-based matchmaking. Select from its unique factions and leaders. Each provides their own strategies that can alter the approach of each session. As long as you're itching to attain galactic dominance, this game is built for you. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? Look at me! An unlikely Lovecraftian horror game with a dating sim twist. After being mysteriously kidnapped by an otherworldly force, you're stuck in the dark woods with only a spellbook to help you escape. Don't worry about Steam's horror tag, it's a light-hearted visual novel adventure that has you swooning over attractive characters, especially with its hand-drawn 2D art style. It's like watching an anime. It's a four-chapter adventure inspired by Lovecraft stories. To make matters even more interesting, you could even date an old god. The game that recently came out of its early access phase, V Rising is what you get when you mix Ark Survival Evolved and Valheim with Vampires. It's the ultimate vampire role-playing game on the market right now. The goal is to rebuild your dilapidated castle and recruit loyal servants. Build your own vampire empire from the ground up. As long as you stay away from the scorching sun, you're safe. But the fun in survival RPGs isn't about doing everything alone. Gather friends and fight side by side together. V Rising brings out your bloodlust as you raid players' castles or cooperate with them. The choice is yours. The Souls-like genre has evolved over the years. It's no longer locked behind from software titles. It's a type of game that everyone wants to get their hands with. In another crab's treasure, you play as a crab for obvious reasons. Embark on an adventure under the seas to reclaim your lost shell. In traditional Souls-like fashion, there are ruins of an old kingdom and pesky bosses to defeat. Use the powers of crab to dominate this undersea kingdom. Trash is your means of survival. Use regular objects like cups and cans and use them to bolster your defenses. It is a fantastic Souls-like that also has a deep social commentary of environmentalism. You can learn a thing or two about why we should protect the ocean. I want to introduce you to something a bit more personal, something really special to me. My first solo game, Summer House. Summer House is a vibrant sandbox where you build tiny homes. According to the game's description, there are no rules or restrictions, just pure creativity. You can create your own neighborhood full of tiny buildings. You can make your own mood by setting up gorgeous backgrounds like the sea, the city, or mountains. There are a few secrets to uncover as you make your community, but it's completely optional. All you have to do is enjoy and watch your creations come to fruition. The past few years have been great for cat lovers. Little Kitty Big City is the perfect game for anyone who fancies their feline friends. In this game, you're a little cat roaming around in a big city. The goal is to find your way home, but we all know cats love to mess around. Instead of heading back to your place, soak in the sights of the city. 
explore what this bustling metropolis has to offer and make friends. On top of your crazy little adventures, you can also customize your little kitty. Make it wear a rabbit hat or anything you can find, really. Just pretend you're a cat vibing in this concrete jungle. <laughs> Buckshot Roulette is for anyone who loves the thrill of chance. This horror-slash-gambling game pits you against even odds with a mysterious stranger. Inside this underground nightclub, the rules are simple. Two enter, one leaves. Roll the dice with your life and pray you don't get blown to bits. It's similar to games like Inscription. You're trapped in this claustrophobic room, trapped in a game you're forced to play. The matches are short and can be done within 15 to 20 minutes. Yet even with that, things get heated and intense, especially if you're not sure who gets the end of the barrel. This has been a great year for indie horror titles. Crow Country enters the market with its Resident Evil-like inspirations. Even by watching this video, you can tell there's a lot of similarities to Capcom's survival horror. Crow Country is a survival horror game. It takes out all the best things from the classics and blends it into SFB Games' unique take on the genre. Things like fixed camera angles and tight controls are stylistic choices. Solve the mystery in this bleak town. Find answers as to what's going on in this once prosperous sanctuary. Like all survival horror games, there's a lot of backtracking. And that's exactly what the veterans want. Ever think about chilling and working at the same time? Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is the perfect game for times like that. It's all about vibing to relaxing lo-fi tunes and boosting your productivity. The game's built-in productivity tools will help you with that. From to-do lists, timers, and a journal, you can customize your own virtual space that fits your personality. You can even hire adorable spirit companions with its little collectathon mini-game. There's nothing complex or challenging in this game. Just sit back and relax and enjoy this cozy game. It's spring in Moomin Valley, a place of wonder and adventure that a group of peculiar creatures and charming characters call home. A story-rich musical adventure where you play as Snufkin, working to restore the harmony of Moomin Valley. Fans of Dove Jansen's beloved Moomin world will find themselves lost in this adorable and cozy adventure. As a Snufkin, you're basically acting as an eco-criminal trying to weed out gentrification in your valley. Activities like distracting police officers, pulling out signs, and knocking over statues are some of the fun things you can do. A lot of players recommend this game if you just want to relax and listen to music composed by Sigur Ross. If you like immersive and cozy titles, Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley is definitely right up your alley. Hi, I'm Billy Basso. Today I'm going to be showing you a game I've been working on called Animal Well. A fantastic game, made possible by Video Game Donkey's publishing company. Animal Well is a project made by one man. Billy Basso's Metroidvania adventure is a journey worth playing. If you've played games like Hollow Knight, Tunic, or Outer Wilds, you know games like these are best played blind. Animal Well takes you to a densely packed labyrinth full of secrets and wonder. Despite its 33 megabyte file size, there's so much content packed into it. From complex puzzles to Easter eggs, it's a game that's fully aware it's a video game. Even if you're caught in a pinch, you can always ask its community to help you out. Everyone likes a hero. What happens when you mix a boomer shooter with classic anime aesthetics? You get Mullet Mad Jack. It's a neon-soaked shooter that overloads the senses. The game takes place in a dystopian 2090s. Man and the internet have merged into a new being, and it needs a dopamine rush every 10 seconds. It's a mad dash to appease the overlords or you will die. You're literally built as a one-man army packed with upgrades and cool weapons. It's a hilarious romp in each chapter. Complete levels in the shortest time possible and flex it for the world to see. Once you've gotten a taste of dopamine itself, it's an addicting experience. To whom it may concern, it has come to our attention that Mr. Nero has contacted you to work on his project. There are many ways to describe Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. It could be the Dark Souls of puzzle games or Resident Evil without the zombies. To put it simply, it's a neatly packed box waiting to be opened. Enter a mysterious hotel layered with questions. What are you doing here? What's up with the black and white colors? With over 150 puzzles, there's a lot to unpack in every corner. Simogo, creators of Sayonara Wild Hearts, has crafted a video game that unfolds after every secret discovered. It's a game that makes you feel smart and stupid at the same time. 
It's considered by many gamers and critics as the best puzzle game this year. It's even a strong contender for Game of the Year, which is a big win for indie games. Like all knowledge-based games, this is best played blind and with laser-focused eyes. 